All right, boat's been sitting all winter, so going to give it a give the Mer Cruiser a fire up. See how it goes. I've got the water running, checked oil, checked everything over. All looks good. So only thing battery was flat. I think it's cactus. It's a few years old, so I've got a jump starter on it. I'll just turn that on actually. I don't know if that'll have enough power to start it, but we'll, we'll give it a go. All right, because it doesn't have doesn't have much power, that jump starter. I'm going to put a bit of start your bastard in. Just cheat a bit. I don't have the power to wind it over and over to get the fuel going. Get in there. Alright. See if that helps. Probably nine months, I suppose. It's sitting tarped up. I do run um, premium, premium fuel. Stops are going stale. Why it sits over the um, colder months. Obviously, we don't we don't freeze where I am over here, so I don't have to worry about setting it up for um, frozen conditions. So it's an easy easy start. at the moment they do have an auto choke so um, a bit suspect also on this water pump feels a little bit loose the um, pulley there you can feel in the shaft I can um, hear a slight bearing noise so I might, I might just replace that anyway I'll get on one Sitting up about on good temperature now, it's just below 80 degrees Celsius. Um, got no rev meter. I don't know if anyone knows. I'm going to chuck the comment. I've tried to fix it, I've tried to find the problem with this thing. Uh, it's a Bayliner, by the way. Mercruiser 5 litre Bayliner Capri. Um, yeah, it'd be good to get that working. Uh, it's been running a little bit now. I can hear that that bearing noise from that water pump. I don't know if you can hear it through the phone, but yeah, it's pretty noisy. I had it revved up a bit before and um, yeah, definitely water pump. Alright guys, here's the new pump. Genuine genuine mercury is the one. Wasn't cheap, of course, but uh, you get the good stuff, you know. So it comes with little gaskets. It's only two little gaskets, basically. That's the only two points where it makes contact. There's um, two little gaskets there. Instruction manual. Easy. All right. So first thing, though, we get this belt off. These are simple if you've seen these little designs, they're, they're quite good. Loosen it off and then it basically slides down a track, see that? And you tension it back up. They're a good little thing. You actually tension it. You, you wind that and then you have a spanner and you tighten that. So that winds it up and then you tighten your thing when you put it back on. So 
it's easy. Uh, I also suggest you take a photo too. Sometimes they're tricky to get back on you. If you didn't see how it came off, so. Um, yeah, so basically, it's just this one, one pipe has to come off. And then there's, oh, I think this bracket too actually, because the bracket is bolted through the water pump. So get that bracket off first. And then it's, um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five bolts or something. So easy days. I'll get that undone and then we'll have a look. Okay, I've got it off. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely, it's nasty in there. Yeah. You can hear that, it's just grindy. Whereas this one, super smooth, feels real tight. But I've struck a problem. I'm just going out this side. Um, now I've, I've heard of this before. I've seen people put them on and they've um, tightened them up and they break through here because it's actually hitting somewhere. Just see if you can um, see the difference. It's hard to pick up with the sun on it, but there's a that's sort of indented there. And where are we? Same there. And if you look at this one, it's straight. Same with there, it's straight. There's no, there's no curve. See just there, there's a little mark. And just there, there's a little mark. I just tried it on and it's rocking. It's not, it's not closing right up. You can get one side and then the other side's got like a, a three mil, four mil gap. So yeah, if I try to wind that in, it's gonna break, it won't seal. So it look, looks like I've got a grind, and I don't know why, it's, it's the right one. I got it from Mercury as the dealer, it's the right one for the engine number, etc. but it just hits, hits that front plate that's underneath it. Um, now, that's quite thick. It's quite thick in there, so I think I can take a just a couple of mil out each side, bit of a grinder, a couple of mil out there, just where I've got those little rub marks, you probably can't see it. Um, so I'll get that done and we'll see how it fits on. Alright, this is what I was talking about, where it hits. You can see that, just that little rub mark there, on that edge, right there. That's where that piece was hitting. And it was it same on that side, that little wear mark there. That's where I was trying to rub it so I could see a mark. Now I've um where are we? Like I said I've ground a little piece out there. Not pretty. Where's the other side? Uh, there. Ground a little piece out there. That fits in nice now. So I'm gonna um Spray paint a little bit of black over that and we'll bolt it on. Good to go. Okay, so I've those grind outs, I've put some paint in there. You can hardly see it. Beautiful. It's like factory. Uh, also, I'll just show you this. This is that belt tensioner. It's been digging into this pipe here. So I've ground that off a bit and rounded it off. So it shouldn't be as sharp now. I might have to Put a bit of rubber in there, but I'll get a new hose anyway. But yes, so that's something to look out for while you get things apart. Anyway, I'll put these top bolts in just to hold the gaskets. Some people say to put some elastic or whatever, but I don't believe it needs it. So I'm just running them dry. them in place just to get it started and I've cleaned all these with, with a blade got any old gasket off I'll just get them started so it's held in all right they're all started 
I can see there, hold it in and it's sitting firm. It's not hitting that thing before it was rocking on those little bits I showed you. So that's all good. That's going to work. So, all right, what I'll do, I'll get this all bolted up, get that back on, bracket, um, put the, put the uh, pulley tensioner back on. One thing I didn't mention, I'll just show you now. When taking this off, that's on there obviously for the belt. When you take this off, it's a lot easier to loosen those bolts while the while the belt's on. That's holding it in place, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, it's quite difficult it's trying to spin when you undo these little four bolts. But it is doable, but a lot easier with the belt on. So just something to consider. All right, no worries. So I'll, we'll come back and um, at the starting stage. So we'll fire it up, check for leaks, see how it goes. All right. All righty, ready for a test run. See if, um, see if it leaks around there, it should be all good. Fuel pump up. Chuggy the auto chokes on. Just let it run a bit till it warms up. There it goes, so we'll come back in a sec. Oh, yeah, got that nice V8 down. Runs smooth. Success, easy job, there's no leaks, let it run till it warmed up, everything looks good, pipe's good. Also that piece I ground out, I ground off, this uh, bracket there, took about four or five mil off that. Yeah, so that's, that's good. You can see the indent in the pipe where it was digging in, it's not right through, so been been raw, raw water boat. Uh, doesn't have a doesn't have a sealed system so it doesn't build up pressure as such so pipes don't tend to blow if that was on a radiator you wouldn't um, wouldn't use that but I'll order one anyway and yeah all good so happy boating to me summer here we come see you guys <laughs>